All right, so I'd like to show you two different ways that you can solve um, these equations for little b. Let's keep in mind that we're solving the equation for little b, so I'm going to highlight that. I think probably the most popular method would be to distribute the 1 half h. So we get a equals 1 half h big b plus 1 half h little b. Keep in mind that we're trying to solve for little b. So now I'm going to go ahead and subtract the 1 half h big B from both sides of the equation. This gives me 0. And on the left hand side I get a minus 1 half h big B is equal to 1 half h little b. At this point in time, since everything on the right hand side is held together by multiplication, I can go ahead and divide by a 1 half h. So I get little b equals a minus 1 half h big B over 1 half h. Now that's quite complicated. Um, but that would be the probably my, what I'm guessing would be the popular choice to solve this. Let me show you something that's a little bit more efficient if we do it a slightly different way. Um, so let's come over to the right hand side. If I can recognize that this 1 half h is held together by multiplication, then I can multiply by the reciprocal uh, 2 over h. And I can multiply by the reciprocal here, 2 over h. Because 2 times 1 half is 1, and h divided by h is 1. And the whole key is to get a 1 there. So now I get 2a, 2a over h equals big B plus little b. And now all I have to do is subtract a big B. So I get 2a over h minus big B is equal to little b. You can have either one of these two answers would work. And I'd like you to write these answers down because you're going to be using this to answer the next question. So take a minute to write those down.